All right, before we begin, today's video is brought to you, brought to you, brought to you, brought to you, brought to you. by my friends over at Vite Ramen, who are releasing their version 3.0 flavors. I know you guys might be wondering, Eck, didn't they just have version 1.2? Where's version 2? Listen, it was such a big change, they went right to 3.0, and I can't blame them. I've been testing some of these flavors. Let me just tell you that they are amazing. You guys probably already know about Vite Ramen, but if you don't, they're a really easy way to eat healthy and live an ordinary life. Compared to other ramen, it's low in sodium, it's got lots of bioavailable nutrients, and of course it's still delicious. As I mentioned at the beginning, version 3.0 of Vite Ramen has dropped. I'll put the patch notes down in the description. There you can get a full look at what's changed and everything that goes into making Vite Ramen noodles and flavors. I've also got a brand new Eckhart's Ladder landing page for Vite Ramen. I've got something very special in the works as well. But follow that link and you can get free chopsticks, spoons, and a sticker. Plus use code Eckhart's for 10% off. You'll be helping not only a great company out, but also me. Anyway, on with the content. The SCP Foundation investigates, secures, and contains a variety of strange, supernatural, terrifying, extraterrestrial, and or extra-dimensional entities. From the infamous SCP-173, a blood-covered hostile statue, to my all-time favorite, SCP-1733, a DVR'd basketball game where the player's recordings are self-aware and trapped, the Foundation houses all manner of strange things and beings. As a part of their ongoing efforts to protect the human race, the SCP Foundation studies and makes use of AI, even recently employing AI agents, which they refer to as artificially intelligent conscripts, or AICs. AICs are governed managed and monitored by the AIAD, the Artificial Intelligence Applications Division, which itself is a subset of the Foundation's IT department. The AIAD manages not only the AI used by the SCP Foundation, but also all AI which could potentially harm humanity. The Foundation also has other assets dedicated to protecting against AI. One example would be Mobile Task Force Kappa 10, known as Skynet, which acts as a quick response unit to AI threats, especially those outside the Institute and on the World Wide Web. Foundation AICs, and again, that's artificially intelligent conscripts, basically AI that work for the SCP Foundation, are limited in their actions by what's known as the four standard principles of artificially intelligent conscripts. One, an AIC must know it is an AIC. Two, an AIC must not operate outside of its clearance. Three, an AIC must operate for the benefit of the foundation. Four, an AIC must protect its own existence unless it conflicts with other principles. Now, if you've read or seen iRobot, you'll probably recognize that a list that ambiguous gives an AIC a lot of wiggle room. And when you examine the stories of individual AICs within the Institute, you'll see that they often often will work outside those parameters, sometimes against what's arguably the best interests of humanity and the foundation, especially when it comes to self-preservation. But I mean, that third point is also concerning because of how the foundation acts generally. The foundation is generally willing to cause extreme civilian loss if it means containing an SCP. So these AICs, some of which have access to vast resources and intelligence, are working within the same limits of the foundation, which are the themselves very limited. Anyway, AICs in development within and without the Institute were previously classified based on class, intelligence, and alignment. Class refers to the general complexity of the machines, from basic reactive AI, class 1, which simply record information, to sentient and even sapient class 5 machines. Intelligence is self-explanatory, and is defined as either narrow, general, or super. Intelligence and complexity is also sometimes tied to AI generation. Alignment describes the degree to which an AI's goals are aligned with those of the Foundation and also humanity, with a a positively aligned AI being allied to the Institute or at least its goals and a negative AI being one who, broadly speaking, has actions which are detrimental to humanity. Based on their classification, AICs are employed by the SCP Foundation for a variety of tasks. Everything from simple message encryption to the management of single complex SCPs. 
Much of the technological development related to AICs and AI generally actually came from reverse engineered SCPs, specifically SCP-079, which I'll talk about in a minute. A constant fear has of course been that as AIs become more advanced, that one could be unleashed, could circumvent the rules, or could otherwise harm humanity. There's actually an entire history created as a part of the AIAD storyline, which details the development, advancement, and decommissioning of the Foundation's AI. AI, but that's outside the scope of today's video. If you're interested, as with everything related to the SCP Foundation, I've included links down below. It should be noted that the Institute is not, in fact, the only entity studying and creating AI in the SCP universe. Anderson Robotics has been linked to several SCPs, including 1360, an intelligent android. The Foundation also contains a variety of AI or AI-adjacent SCPs and I'll cover a few of them very briefly. SCP-079 is a self-improving AI which accidentally gained sentience and is now contained within the Foundation. It, uh, lives a very frustrating existence because it's mostly contained on very old hardware and is not allowed to be connected to the internet. It is aware of cloud computing and hardware advancements, but has only received small incremental upgrades. SCP-5241 is surely one of the most famous AI ever associated with the Foundation and also probably played a role in the development of AICs. 5241 is a psychic AI, which has actually escaped escaped the Foundation's containment and is now circulating on the internet. SCP-3101 is an artificial intelligence which was most likely a hostile insertion into the Foundation's computer systems. Although that's not really certain admittedly, 3101 is able to edit text on Foundation computers and uses that to communicate with agents and employees. Usually it just flirts with them, but it also possesses a lot of knowledge about the Foundation and what it does. It's believed that 3101 may even have a biological or human component. SCP-2522 was formerly an AIC for the Foundation, but has now been contained following alleged hostilities against the Foundation. Finally, one of my favorites is SCP-2806. I like this one not only because it has the Skywalker protocol related to it, but also it's very, very clever. 2806 is a variety of prosthetic parts, including arms, eyes, legs, and ears, all of which can capably bind to somebody who is missing that part, but which also have a variety of malfunctions. One of the arms, and I quote, amplifies the desired force exerted by host by an approximate factor of 10 10, so hopefully you don't go to shake somebody's hand. One of the ears has a constant presence of 50 decibels of white noise, which is very loud, while another one actually mutes sounds above 100 decibels, which, I don't know, sounds pretty useful actually. One of the eyes is unable to move, another one is colorblind, one of the leg can't deliver any force greater than 100 newtons, while the other one can only deliver a force greater than 4,000 newtons. Unfortunately, once the prosthetic locks onto you, it doesn't really let go go. Well, there's actually an artificial intelligence present in this one, I guess, is uncertain, but based on how the limb operates and how it almost purposefully infects people, it seems possible to me. Also, there's the fact that it is tied to Anderson Robotics, which we mentioned earlier. Anyway, from hard drives designed to house artificial intelligences to other SCPs live on the World Wide Web or within the Foundation's computers, there's more I could talk about here, but I want to keep this video relatively short. If you enjoyed, though, let me know. I'd be happy to do a follow-up. Is there anything in particular from the SCP Foundation you'd like me to cover? Let me know all of that and more down below. Until next time, guys, have a good one. Be safe and may the Force be with you.